Hey, so today we're going to talk about filtering made really easy in Google Sheets using something new called slicers. So on this page, you'll see that I've got a lot of different projects and they're spread out across different statuses and organizations and stuff like that. And so a lot of times I need to come in here and maybe slice and dice the information to just focus on a couple of different things. Um, so up at the very top, you'll see right here this big kind of dark bar. And this bar allows you to very quickly be able to click down. I've got this set to organization. These are all of our departments and projects that we cover. I can clear this and I can just look at the IT projects that I'm looking at. So I would just highlight information technology after I've cleared it. Once I do that, it narrows it down to just those information technology org things that, we're, that I'm wanting to look at. All right, so that's super, super simple. I mean, filters are awesome, right? Um, but they're kind of awkward. You go to the filter view, you have to name it, create a filtered view. I mean, they're incredible, but they're sometimes a time investment that I wish I would spend more time on, and I just don't, right up until the point that I really need to. Slicers allows us to put that directly in the sheet and just manage it really easily. So I've already got one here. So I'll show you how to create one, and we're gonna create one for status. Um, so if I go to data and I go to add a slicer, what comes up is on the sidebar, and I'm going to move myself over so we can see this. Um, on the sidebar, it comes up with an easy kind of walk you through it window. And in this case, I want to select status, right? So it automatically selects all of the rows that are already filled out. You could adjust the date range if you want. Um, but from there, we should be good. So I close that side window and you can see that it just dropped it into the sheet and you, it will be sticky, right? So if you leave it there, you can. What I usually do is since I usually freeze rows up at the top to be able, as I'm scrolling through, to be able to um, see what the column headers are, if I just add a little bit of space on that top frozen row, just enough for one of these slicers, I can come in and literally just drag the slicer up to the top, add it, and now I've got the slicer. So here, I've already used the org one and narrowed it down to IT projects. Now, I just wanna see those that are waiting for action. So I'll come in here, select its default set to all, I'll clear those, and I'll just do the ones that are waiting for action and apply that. So you can see that you can actually put several different slicers and then kind of use those as different ways of slicing down the data to the stuff you want to see. So in order to get back to the full view, you just come in here, select all. Oh, I didn't actually save it. Uh, good Lord, I'm struggling today. I, I am dangerously low blood caffeine levels, clearly. So let's select all, let's go down, let's click OK. And then let's do the same thing here. Let me select all, OK. And we've got all of our projects back up. So that's it. All right, I hope that helps. Later. I'm going to go get some coffee.